Want to know how to install a toilet paper holder? Yes. In this video, I will show you how easy it is to do it yourself. Hi, my name is Kim with Kimagine DIY, where I hope to help you imagine the possibilities with DIYs and crafts. If that sounds like fun, consider subscribing. Now let's just jump right into this project. I used a screw gun with a Phillips bit, some drill bits, a stud finder, a pencil, and a self-leveling laser. Here I'm unboxing the Bennington four-piece bathroom hardware set. I was actually impressed with how it was packaged. There was no two metal pieces really coming in contact with each other. Every single piece of hardware was completely wrapped. So I was very impressed with that. Every hardware piece came with its own mount, drywall screws, an Allen key, and anchors. Now it's time to install the toilet paper holder. Here's the cabinet and Google says the recommended height for a toilet paper holder is about 26 inches from the floor. I'm just making my pencil mark on the cabinet, which you can't really see here. And then I just used the hardware to kind of eye up where I wanted it to actually sit within the cabinet. I wanted it close to the edge as possible without it going all the way over. And then I just use my self-leveling laser to mark where the center of that toilet paper holder would be. Then grab your mounting bracket and line it up and mark the holes with a pencil. When you're going to drill into a stud, you wanna create a pilot hole so it is a guide for your wood screw to go in straight. When picking your drill bit, you wanna pick one big enough to cover most of the main shaft of the screw, but small enough so the drill bit does not cover any part of the teeth. This is a wood cabinet, so I'm just going to use the smaller drill bit. I was just drilling some pilot holes, so it will aid it going through the cabinet. Then grab your mounting bracket and one screw. I like to screw in the top one then I just use my screw gun to screw it all the way in without it being taut. And then I grab the bottom screw to screw it in as well. And then I adjust the mounting bracket and tighten both of them. Then grab that Allen key to loosen the screw. Now, normally you would want to hide the Allen screw on the bottom, but because where it's sitting on my cabinet, Anytime you would grab some toilet paper, you would just pull the whole thing off. So I had to flip it around for me. And this is my absolute favorite part. <laughs> Give it a wiggle to make sure it's secure in the wall and then you're all set. Here's the finished toilet paper holder. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this, you can click the card right up here or you can click right here for an entire playlist. And don't forget to watch the blooper at the end and I will see you guys in the next video. I was doing it backwards because it's upside down.